गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल क्लासेस बाय डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि कुमार आचार्य डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्लीज गिव अवर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स यू कैन आल्सो विजिट द प्लेलिस्ट इन द प्लेलिस्ट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड ऑल दी टॉपिक सो फॉर डिस्कस इन अ सिस्टमेटिक ऑर्डर यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ इट नाउ टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फीटर सर्कुलेशन एज वी नो द फीटर्स रिसीव ऑल द ब्लड एंड न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम द मदर दैट इज थ्रू द प्लेसेंटा विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द मेटर्नल साइड placenta receives the blood flow su- blood supply from the uterine arteries and there will be pooling of the blood from the uterine arteries uterine arteries present in the uterus so placenta's maternal side is attached to the f- uterine mem- uh, uterine surface so therefore it is receiving the blood through the uterine arteries now from the placenta through the amniotic and chorionic villi <coughs> the blood is get diffused into the fetal side of the placenta and right umbilical vein is already degenerated only left umbilical vein is there so this particular left umbilical vein will now carry the oxygenated blood from the fetal side of the placenta to the fetus through the left umbilical vein which runs in the umbilical cord now vein carries the pure blood very important okay vein is carrying the pure blood and umbilical artery will carry the impure blood from the fetal side back to the placenta thus the umbilical cord connects the fetus and as well as the mother and brings the oxygenated blood from the mother to the fetal body umbilical vein after entering into the fetal body runs towards the liver liver of the baby okay fetus runs towards the fetal liver and the minor portion supplies to the sinusoids of the liver and get mixed with the deoxygenated blood which is already present there this is the first mix of see 100% oxygen rich blood in us blood was taken from the mother side but when on the way it reaches the fetus side at many times it is mixed with the impure blood because baby do not want 100% oxygen uh, blood actually okay that will cause the problem so nature has made this arrangement by the time it reaches the fetus exactly fetal cells so it is many times it is deoxygenated mixed with the impure blood this is one such situation where it mixes with the already present blood deoxygenated blood in the sinusoids now but the major portion is directly attached with the infravena cava we know that so which is bringing the deoxygenated blood from the lower portion of the body of the fetus so this connection between umbilical vein and the infravena cava at the area of the liver is called as ductus venosus now umbilical vein directly enter into the uh, liver and liver is also in that time liver also contains some of the blood in the sinusoids meantime inferior vena cava which is bringing the impure blood from the lower portion of the fetal body is also coming there so again the blood is again mixed with the impure blood so maternal deoxygenated blood through the umbilical vein is mixed with the inferior vena cava which is again carrying deoxygenated blood so inferior vena cava will get open into the right atrium now that blood from the maternal side will come to the right atrium in the right atrium superior vena cava which brings the deoxygenated blood from the upper portion of the fetal body is there again it is impure blood or okay, again this particular maternal blood will mix us with the impure blood of the superior vena cava in the right atrium so major portion of the blood from the inferior vena cava in the right atrium is directed towards the left atrium we know that okay through a shunt or opening present in the intra atrial septum which is called as foramina ovale <coughs> now foramina ovale is a opening present in the intra atrial septum called as septa prima just below the opening there is another septa which is called as septa secundum which face towards the right atrium now blood from the right atrium enters into the left atrium through the foramina ovale and mix with a small amount of the blood returning from the fetal insufficient lung although the lung fetal lung will not carry out much uh, purification of the blood but some amount of the blood is also coming from the lungs of the fetus is now mixed through the blood which is coming through the pulmonary veins in the left atrium so this blood will mix with that blood also okay so this blood is from the left so now the blood from the left atrium is now pushed into the left ventricles through the mitral valves valves so meanwhile blood from the superior vena cava in the right atrium directly enters into the right ventricle okay 
so blood coming from the infra vena cava is directed towards the left atrium whereas blood coming from the superior vena cava because of the gravity pressure it directly enters into the left eight, uh, right ventricle okay directly enters into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valves uh, with high pressure now blood from the left ventricle enters inside the ventricles left ventricle undergo this contraction and uh, enters into the aorta while blood from the right ventricle now enters into the right and left pulmonary trunk okay now in the aorta the blood enters with the high pressure and it is carried uh, further out of the heart while the pulmonary trunk the major portion of the blood from the superior vena cava which is received enters into the left right ventricle from the right ventricle now it has to go to the pulmonary trunk but when it is going through the pulmonary trunk in between there is a connection with the aorta which is called as a ductus arteriosus okay so as a result now why the blood goes through the ductus arteriosus because lung is basically a fluid filled cavity in the fetal life it is not performing any ventilatory function so the resistance is more so blood cannot already the blood which is coming to the left ventricle it is of low pressure now this particular pressure of the blood cannot overcome the uh, resistance which is present in the fluid filled cavity as a lung okay lung as a fluid filled cavity has got more resistance so it cannot overcome so blood will traverse towards the ductus arteriosus and enters into the aorta so only very minor portion of the blood from the pulmonary trunk is able to enter inside the lung uh, so that uh, it return back to the left atrium to the pulmonary veins already we have discussed major portion will pass through the ductus arteriosus so thus due to the resistance blood from the pulmonary trunk fail to reach the lung and experience high back pressure so now this blood in the pulmonary trunk the left sided pulmonary artery gets shunted directly not all the pulmonary trunk is get shunted only the left sided pulmonary trunk pulmonary right and left pulmonary trunk is there the left pulmonary trunk is shunted directly with the aorta through the ductus arteriosus okay so ductus arteriosus is about 5 to 10 mm distal to the origin of the left subclavian artery where exactly the ductus arteriosus is present it is about 5 to 10 mm distal to the origin of left subclavian artery so aorta supports all the body parts of the fetus and at the end through the right and left umbilical arteries the deoxygenated blood returns through the umbilical cord into the fetal part of the placenta and then diffuses back into the maternal part of the placenta now what are the important points that has to be remembered oxygenated blood from the maternal side mixes with the deoxygenated blood of the fetus and get further deoxygenated at five important points because baby do not want high oxygenated blood at all okay so now umbilical vein blood mix uh, what are the situations where this particular maternal pure blood mixes with the impure fetal blood number one umbilical blood mixes with the blood in the sinusoids of the liver number one number two ductus venosus blood directly mixes with the intravena cava number 2 blood of the intravena cava mixes with the deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities number 3 blood further mixes with the blood from the superior vena cava in the right atrium number 4 number 5 this blood further mixes with the blood coming from the left atrium coming to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins from the lungs so in five areas this blood will go into maternal blood maternal pure blood will go into mix with the impure blood in the fetal body there are three important shuntings are there so there are mainly three important shuntings or bypassing of the blood in the fetal circulation number one is ductus venosus connects the umbilical vein and infravena cava number one this is a shunting number two shunting of the blood through the right atrium and left atrium through the foramen nevale second shunting and third one is shunting of the blood from the pulmonary trunk left pulmonary trunk with the aorta through the ductus arteriosus so these are the three important shuntings which are present in the fetal circulation Now in the next class we will see what exactly happens immediately after birth okay once the delivery takes place there will be drastic changes and fetal circulation has to be get changed into adult type of circulation and how it happens so that we will discuss in the next class thank you very much